Good afternoon and welcome to the TB Yacht Broker channel. Uh, my name is Tom Bentley and uh, as part of my next mini series after the Dusseldorf Boat Show, what I wanted to do was to do some videos on some current dealer approved stock boats that we have that we've either taken into part exchange or have bought uh, from other dealers uh, over the last few weeks. Now with the time of year that it is, obviously we're getting towards the start of the season, so we're really, really keen to show off what stock we have in, uh, and if a particular client is looking for a used boat rather than a brand new boat, we do have various options that we can show them. The first option uh, that I wanted to have a look at today is our 75 uh, yacht 2014, uh, currently on the system called 2020. So the 75 yacht is the predecessor to our brand new uh, kind of 76 yacht, which you can see a video of uh, on my YouTube channel. But the 75 yacht was the uh, was the predecessor to this yacht. Now I'm just going to jump in really quickly uh, just to show you the the kind of the saloon space uh, of this boat here. The boat is currently in pool. Um, uh, we've shipped it back from Turkey, so uh, the boat is currently in pool. Uh, and a few key aspects of the boat that I just wanted to uh, to talk to you through. As I've already mentioned, it's a 2014. Uh, it's got the MAN V12 1550, so the bigger engine option uh, that we did uh, with this boat already into the boat. It is uh, currently listed at 1995000, so 1.995 million X tax uh, currently in the UK. Um, but it's got a huge amount of options, this boat, uh, which we'll run through uh, as we walk through the boat. But the ones that you can't quite see uh, in this shot here at the minute is the fact that it's got fin stabilizers and there is also a spa hot tub up on the uh, up on the sun deck up here as well. So, so there's some really good extras which I'll run through uh, and I will also post the specification uh, on my LinkedIn and on my uh, YouTube channel as well for you can to really go through in detail. But to, uh, to have a quick look around, just before we go into the saloon, I'll just spin us around. So you've got this lovely wet bar system here. You've got a nice big cool box underneath here. Uh, there is a Kenyan grill, uh, all of your amenities just in here as well. There is actually, the boat does have a uh, joystick drive system uh, as well, uh, which also has the dynamic positioning system, or the DPS for short, uh, which I can run through in more detail if you would prefer. Just drop me a, uh, an email. But the, uh, the boat also has a third, third helm station built into here as well, so you can actually drive the boat from the, uh, the back part of uh, this boat, the boat, or the back part of the cockpit, should I say. Just spinning around quickly, uh, we've got the, uh, the cockpit area just here, nice big wraparound seating group right around this teak table. As you can see, the teak's still in really good condition, it's still got some kind of really nice glow to it, really nice colour uh, for a 2014 boat, so very happy uh, with that there. Just spinning the background of the cockpit, and just again, having a look at the teak, uh, down here on the floor again still really nice condition still got that lovely kind of glow uh, we do obviously make sure that when the boats come into stock we run them through a really big kind of quite vigorous uh, kind of multi-point check so obviously the teak is, is a key point of that so looking back into the saloon as we can see we've got uh, the black American walnut satin uh, color uh, as you can see on the boat and one thing to mention here is that the specification is of a Bang & Olufsen uh, surround sound system. So that was upgraded when the, uh, when the boat was built. Moving into the saloon, uh, the 75 was very famous for its massive great big windows uh, down the side of the boat. Uh, you've got lovely lighting, LED lighting all the way throughout the boat uh, as well. That's all been upgraded since the boat was bought. Uh, again, massive great big windows down the side here and a lovely big sit around couch. Uh, space for internal dining and as you can see we've got a high-low table uh, just here as well. Moving forward right up into the uh, to the top part of the saloon we've got this lovely great big sit-around table uh, here and again wrap-around seating group as well as uh, movable removable chairs and uh, throughout the uh, around the table. The helm area is actually guarded here this screen has a switch which you can turn uh, that uh, piece of glass into completely see-through or as you can see it now so it's just to kind of uh, hold off the area of the or not show the area of the helm just hide it slightly just if you've got crew up there etc etc and you've got a lovely um, wine cooler and also uh, glass storage underneath this piece here you'll notice that we've got uh, this black marble all the way uh, through the boat on top of here into the uh, table here and that's because that reflects this galley uh, system just here as well. So as we can see as we rock around we've got this beautiful marble 
really great colours uh, all the way through across that. And that goes all the way across the top and it also on the floor as well. We'll see that in just a second. Big four ring uh, hob top just here. You've got this fantastic fridge freezer section with drawers uh, down here, dishwasher behind here as well. So really fully equipped uh, galley that you can see. I'll just rock over so you can see the floor that I just discussed there. There we go. That's a really beautiful kitchen and really matches that um, satin walnut really, really well. Uh, air conditioning units, you can see the boat obviously has a full Mediterranean uh, package, but the air conditioning has been upgraded to a tropical specification, so an additional cooler uh, within the boat, so really fantastic cooling abilities uh, and also the reverse cycle as well. We can just pop up to the helm area here, nice seating group there on the left, and then as we spin over, the boat has been upgraded to Rain Marine systems here as well, and that's the joystick drive system that I was talking about uh, earlier there. So, and as you may be able to the eagle eye, guys of you and girls will be able to see all European plugs uh, all the way throughout the boat as well. So good helm area, dual seat, uh, lots of, uh, lots of um, seating group area around here as well. So perfectly able to, to have a look up. And the uh, client actually had this um, included in the build as well. So this is a bottle storage just in here and the client quite like his reading. So there's quite a lot of uh, kind of book storage just in here. And a good shot uh, looking back down the boat as well, kind of really lovely open area uh, around here. Lots of lovely seating groups for lots of uh, entertaining. So we'll just pop back uh, this way so we can now get down the circular staircase. Really lovely kind of stainless steel bands all the way wrapped around this staircase here. And we'll drop all the way down into this corridor. Now coming down to the lower level uh, or the accommodation level uh, on the boat, as we can see the uh, satin walnut has been made into these lovely squared off patterns on the doors uh, here as well. So using the grain to make some really beautiful patterns uh, all the way throughout the boat. Now the cabins obviously all spec with uh, their own aircon systems. The cabins also have been spec with their own satellite decoder systems for the TVs as well. So that's a really great feature all the way throughout the boat to get make sure that every cabin has it, its own access to uh, to TV. So if I just pop uh, forward, we can have a look into the first cabin. This is a twin. You've got a complete ensuite on the left-hand side just here. And if I just rack over, you can just see here the uh, two twin beds. Now these are on sliders. You can see the rails here at the bottom. Um, so that will enable the two uh, beds to come together to form an occasional double. You've got plenty of storage uh, underneath the beds and uh, behind me in the wardrobe that you've just seen. There is also a third Pullman bunk uh, just here that you can see. You can just see the little clasps that you can release that. So this is actually a three berth cabin uh, in this part here. Nice big windows again, chunky stainless steel um, portholes. I'll just spin us around and you can just see the bathroom a bit better uh, in there. So full height uh, shower and toilet in there. Spinning back round so we get to the corridor, I'll just pop us onto the next cabin. So the next cabin is a proper double, uh, as you can see. So you've got a nice big uh, open area just here with the uh, window, nice big open double, lots of uh, storage units. I believe there's actually a fridge uh, in this unit here that the uh, owner spec'd. Uh, and then we've got uh, full wardrobe in behind here. Again, that decoded um, TV just under here. And then access into an ensuite. Uh, through this door here, which also serves as the day head. Popping back out into the corridor, there's the other Jack and Jill uh, door just there, so that goes into that day head, and then we run all the way up uh, to the on VIP uh, uh, guest room here as well. So again, nice big uh, double bed uh, just here, access into the bathroom just there. So I'll just pop us over to this side here, you can really kind of give a full appreciation of this cabin. You've got some lovely grey muted colours behind here so you really see the grain in this uh, black american walnut here like i said 2014 boat but the woods are really really top spec uh, in this boat they've really lasted very very well uh, and you've got this fantastic led spotlighting all the way throughout the boat uh, also another look at that fantastic grain uh, that sun seeker have managed to produce you've got a small vanity closet uh, just underneath here and again you've got the tv into that bulkhead just over there and then finally we've got the master cabin so if i just shoot uh, all the way down to the bottom just here as we go we have a good look into the master so the master has got its own fantastic bespoke headboard here carrying those gray colors all the way throughout the boat uh, that we've seen so far you've got these fantastic windows which are replicated uh, upstairs as well you've got fantastic storage underneath these beds here great uh, reading lights and also spotlights next to the bed You've got full TV in this bulkhead just over here that you can see. 
And if I spin us back round, you've got this lovely seating group, kind of chaise long slash sofa uh, just underneath this window here as well. And then if I just pop us over to this piece here, again, you've almost got a bit of a kind of uh, a kind of walk-in wardrobe uh, just over here as well. So you can see lots of uh, lots of pieces through here. There you go. So look, there's a safe in there. You've got loads of storage units uh, all the way throughout. And then if you excuse the camera in the mirror, I'll just show you the master on suite as well, which is behind the uh, main bedroom bulkhead. So full standing shower uh, sinks and toilets in there. So, uh, and then a good uh, look back down into the cabin from there. So as I said, this is a stock boat, dealer approved. Uh, it's gone through a, a hell of a uh, kind of warranty check uh, with us. It has been surveyed. Uh, it has been serviced uh, also. So uh, this boat is ready for sale. It's turnkey ready for the season. Uh, I'm more than happy to send you additional details and full specifications of the boat, including additional pictures. The boat's here in Poole. It's just outside my office, so please do contact me directly um, and we will be able to discuss a viewing uh, from there. If you'd like to know uh, any more details, my contact details will be there. There is also the red button uh, on this video, which enables you to subscribe to my videos, which I will be putting up more stock boats uh, in the near future. Thank you for watching.